Coronavirus is spreading rapidly in the United States with more than 3,200 confirmed cases and 62 deaths. Health experts are warning those numbers will go up but are calling on Americans to keep their distance from each other. CBS News' Nicole Killian has more details from the White House. Travelers waited for hours in several of the biggest U.S. airports in order to complete medical screening. The screening is taking place in 13 airports for passengers returning from Europe as part of President Trump's travel ban. The U.K. and Ireland will be added to the list Monday. Dr. Anthony Fauci with the National Institutes of Allergies and Infectious Diseases says he's not recommending a domestic travel ban, at least not yet. You wouldn't get on a plane. Right now. Me, I, for there are a number of reasons why I wouldn't get on a plane. Because of my age, I would very seriously think about not doing any travel like that. President Trump held a conference call with CEOs of grocery chains Sunday afternoon to ask them to do what they can to keep shelves stocked. The president's coronavirus task force announced a new website will soon be available for the public to learn where and when they should get tested. In the meantime, the White House is calling on all Americans to do even more to isolate themselves and prevent the spread of the virus. Myself personally, I wouldn't go to a restaurant. I, I just wouldn't because I don't want to be in a crowded place. I have an important job to do. I don't want to be in a situation where I'm going to be all of a sudden self-isolating for 14 days. Buffet Fortuna in San Francisco's Chinatown has temporarily closed its doors because people aren't dining out. It's a really hard time for all the small business now. Mm -hmm. And I hope the government can help us. Sunday, the city of Hoboken, New Jersey, started restricting restaurants to delivery and takeout only. Nicole Killian, CBS News, the White House. The White House and Congress are working on a potential stimulus bill to help businesses survive the pandemic. Worldwide, more than 162,000 people have been infected and more than 6,000 have died. At least 75,000 have recovered.